This program brought to you by the Arts and Communications Academy at Lansdowne High School. Man, you know, school is important. You should always show up in school on time, you know. Yeah, that's all I gotta say, you know. It's the Lansdowne Show. Welcome to Season 5, Episode 3 of The Lansdowne Show. Thanks for watching. Enjoy! Let's start getting... If this is getting done today, Pet Rally Pro, is, we have the logo already, we gotta get that done next. Basketball warm-up jersey, we need to get the logos done for that. Um, What's the one thing you're gonna for sure get done today? Introduce the Charmers in a video. Exactly. So, All right, let's go, man. Get What's everybody? It's your boy Kuma here. So, we kind of just released a video without telling you guys what the Charmers is, what, what we are, what we do. So this video right here is going to give you a little insight of what the Charmers are, what we're about, what the organization is, what the brand is, who we are, who am I? I don't even know yet. So let's take a peek at the Charmers. First up, we got our man Nico. Who are the Charmers? We're the Charmers. Charmers, we're a brand, we're a group. We're an organization. I'm Matt Mendez, and I'm a lead photographer and also a graphic designer. We're looking, we're looking to expand. We're looking to get a couple of these schools around here wearing the Charmers warm-up shirts. Gotta do that. Our Beauty's Middle School. Mm -hmm. That's next. Charmers are a group of creative minds coming together, promote positivity. I help my friends out when they down bad and need advice. Getting our brand out there is the main priority of any single Charmer activity that happens right now. I'm just that, that kid. Who you want, know? right? <laughs> From Lansdowne, you know, I'm a Lansdowne legend, you know. Everybody I'm not right past right. right. Are you with me? Are you watching me? Are you listening to what I'm saying? We're a bunch of go-getters, a bunch of young ballers, shining right now in the city and in the county. We are at Federal Hill, outside of the American Visionary Art Museum. In Baltimore City? In Baltimore City. Like, do something wait, wait, with wait, it. Wait, 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 aesthetic. Oh, yeah, <laughs> do you like a pump of paint? <laughs> <laughs> nice to meet you. The lighting over there is so good, like, your highlight is not <laughs> like... Josh, can you not? <laughs>
there's a there's a wonderful photo. and Micah, uh, they, just, they went to the city and the city said, we will sell you this property for one dollar. And then you get to raise one dollar, yeah. And then you guys get to raise, it was pretty rough inside. It was bad. But, um, but yeah, they, they raised all the money and brought this place back to life. And so what you're seeing are many layers of history that are still being preserved in the building. Um, what the, the intention of this place is called a rescued ruin. That is the aesthetic choice, or the, the term we use to describe this place. When the building was first opened, you see all the white and all the plaster work? That's how they envisioned how the building looked when it was first opened. And then you see like this rough like greens and, and reds and taupes. Those were all throughout the different ownerships of the theater. So at any given time, it could have looked like more brown, it could look more green at some time. We're really not sure exactly. We have some pictures that we can look at, but basically when they, when the designers and the architects came here, they said, if, it, if it's in good shape, we're going to keep it as it is. If it's completely crumbled down and, and not working anymore, we're going we're gonna to replaster, we're going to reformat it to how it looked when it, the building was first opened. Um, and then if, the, if it was new, if something was going to be brand new, it was going to look really new, like decidedly contemporary. Hence, this wall, the chandeliers, the concession stand.
Strange things in the night. My dreams can't be seen in the light. I might even scream from the fright. But I'm alright. 17 with a dream soaring high. People like the clouds in the sky, but I shine too bright. Can't believe all these words I apply. Mind running fast, brain exercise. I don't know why people want to keep me down with the lies. Wrapped up like a knot on a tie, but I cut my ties. Live under the bed, I'm a monster. Rap game, I'm adopting like a foster. Yeah, I'm up next, look on the roster. Float like a butterfly, sting like a boxer. Live under the bed, I'm a monster. Rap game, I'm adopting like a foster. Yeah, I'm up next, look on the roster. Float like a butterfly, sting like a boxer. Chip on my shoulder, ADD. Growing up, couldn't even count my one, two, threes. Barely went to school, I was an absentee. ABCs, reading words piece by piece. Education came to play like a referee. Shot the ball, then I went three for three. GPA 2.0 to a 3.3. Guilty of this knowledge to the first degree. Live under the bed, I'm a monster. Rap game, I'm adopting like a foster. Yeah, I'm up next, look on the roster. Float like a butterfly, sting like a boxer. Made it fall like a football throw. Flip my life like a coin in the head I'll go. If you don't water the seed, then it will not grow. My water was just frozen, it was covered in snow. I'm a giraffe! It's glasses, boy. What's your name? What sport do you play? My name is Ashanti Hall and I do cheerleading. What's your favorite thing about cheerleading? Um, I love the competition. Would you recommend cheerleading to anyone? Yes, I recommend cheerleading to everyone who's interested in What's your favorite thing about Lansdowne Sports Program? 
I just like how everybody is just involved. What's your name? What sport do you play? Sierra Coots. I play softball and soccer. What's your favorite thing about soccer? Um, the adrenaline when you score a goal. Would you recommend soccer to anyone? Yeah. What do you think about Lansdowne sports? Um, it needs improvement, but I like how the teams interact with each other. What's your name? What sport do you play? My name is Taylor, and I run indoor track and play lacrosse. What's your favorite thing about indoor track and lacrosse? My favorite thing is the teamwork level and working with everyone. What's your favorite part about Lansdowne sports program? Uh, my favorite thing is learning everything new and getting the experience from the coaches. Would you recommend your sports to anyone? Yes, I would. My name is Jacob Bentley and I play lacrosse. What's your favorite thing about lacrosse? Running people over and scoring goals. How does lacrosse help you in school? Lacrosse helps me in school by keeping my grades up. What do you like about playing sports? Uh, it keeps me involved in school and with other people. What do you think about our sports program? Um, I think it's good for the school to keep us closer together and to get the school out there a little bit more than it is. Alright, we're done. Do you play? My name is Sevilla. I play volleyball, basketball, and lacrosse. What's your favorite thing about those sports? Um, the teams, like the people on the teams. Would you recommend your sports to anyone? Yes. What's your favorite thing about the Lansdowne Sports Program? My favorite thing is that, like, the resources they give you and, the, like, how they help you in school. How do you maintain your grades with sports? Through study hall and, um, like, organizing my schedule. <laughs> I want to run out. I want to go home.
Watch the Lane Sound Show. Senioritis. I started receiving that in 11th grade. Before I left my room on the first day of school, I looked in the mirror and I honestly started to cry. I'm like, this is my last first day of high school and I started crying. I was really excited because like, I know they're saying you're gonna miss your friends and stuff, mm -hmm. but I'm really I mean, excited. I'm, I'm honestly, I'm honestly gonna miss high school. I don't care what anyone says. Like, like, everyone's just like, oh, I hate school. I don't want to come to school. No, you don't. You know, deep down in your sad little heart, you want to come. Hello. Hello. What's up, <laughs> Hi, everybody. Talk we about are preaching about positivity. I just wanted to let y'all know that a smile a day keeps the negativity away. All right. Now let me tell y'all something. Always be yourself. Don't let these people out here telling you that this brand of clothes or this cartoon, whatever, don't listen to it. Be you, all right? Don't let nobody tell you that you ugly, not. You're beautiful in your own way. You know what I'm saying? Look at my gaps. You think I care? No, I smile with pride. Let's go, all right? So be you. Remember that. All right, I'm out. <laughs> okay. That was so random. That was funny. <laughs> Yeah, be like that. And roll credits. <laughs> we were still talking about senioritis, though. I kind of wanted to tell them to talk about senioritis, but I didn't want to stop it. Senioritis is when you you don't want to do anything anymore because you know it's you're about to graduate. It's because like that pit in your stomach, you know it's your last year and you don't want to leave. That's ooh, that's so much. Well, for me, I don't want to do anything anymore, but I know I have to keep going yep. and be an honor roll student. Look at Emily's artwork. It's nice. Does it look like me? Does it look like me? Oh my god, was Ow. Hold on, let me make that pose. What's that pose? Bruh. I got some quick facts for you. Do you know that 1 in 5 children struggle with learning and attention issues? Do you know that 1 in 50 children receive accommodations for disabilities? Do you know that these issues often go unnoticed? Do you know that parents, teachers, and adults sometimes have misconceptions about learning disabilities? Do you know there's a lack of people and resources to help with this issue? Do you know that learning disabilities run in families? And it's not caused by the environment they're raised in? This is a very underlooked issue, and something needs to be done about it. Be considered, be aware, and be helpful. The more you know. Once again, thank you for watching the Lansdowne Show. Please stay tuned for episode four. And remember, positive vibes change lives.